this is Linux Android with another video and today I'm making a video about what are the new features of Android 10 on Huawei as many as you know last week I uploaded a video about how Huawei has released the Android 10 update on its flagship phones the P30 phones the Mate 20s uh, and some of their other mid-range um, Honor phones so I have the I have a Huawei Mate 20X, and I received the update about two weeks ago, and I got a I got a question of one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, what are the new features of Android 10 on on here? And so basically, what it is, it's all about the dark mode. If you go in settings right here, you'll see the settings when you um. We turn on the dark mode, basically it's a dark mode. You also go you go to settings right here and it's really black, it's the really dark mode. And also if you go some other apps, let's say Chrome, it's dark mode. You use um, Google Play Store, it's dark mode. If you use messages, you go to set it up as dark mode. Outlook, I use email for that too, dark mode. Um, I use also um, Gmail, so some dark mode. And what else do I have on dark mode? Photos, it's also some dark mode, Google Photos app. And of course, Instagram, it's also really um, dark mode. So, um, and I heard that um, there were, there was gonna be a new um, new customization for for the always on display the clock widget, but I haven't seen anything. Um, it's basically um, the same, the basic, the clock and the and the battery um, level um, always showing on um, always on display. Um, I kind of missed the uh, always on display on Samsung phones. Samsung lets you um, customize, you know, the widget, video, or picture, and you can set it up on your always on display. Also, Motorola has a good always on display um, when you can peek in and um, pick in, and you can see the whatever notification you have when your phone is off. Um, it, it's a good always on display. So I kind of missed that on those phones. So the always on display here on the wall is pretty much basic, but it's better than nothing. And pretty much that's about it. That's about it. There's um there's not much about it. Um but I'm glad um Huawei has released the update. Um Android 10 came out September 3rd or the second. So it's about three months since it came out. And that's pretty good because other companies like Samsung, LG, Motorola, and other companies they're really slow and they haven't released the update the update yet on their flagship phones so that's pretty bad so if you're about you want to get a faster updates i recommend you to get a huawei or google pixel or oneplus and even an uh, essential phone it's really surprising the essential phone is still getting fast updates um and about um the battery life i'm still getting great battery life um I, I don't have any um, app crashes, no bugs, nothing. I'm not having any problems with um, with the phone right now. Um, let me show you. The other day I did a battery um, battery life test um, after the update, and it, I just did videos, YouTube videos, and I got over um, 15 hours of screen on time. This is just some videos, just watching videos, but that's still impressive. That's still very impressive. Like, um, it's still a great battery life. If you use it a lot, gaming, camera, or you, um, or you always, you have the screen, you have the screen um, brightness 100%, you're outdoors. Obviously, it's going to be less, but still, no matter what you throw this phone, the battery life on this, on this phone is amazing, and it will last the whole day, or even two days if you're, um, if you're like an average user, if you're a more heavy user, um, it will last you the whole day basically. And um, and there's nothing, 
like I said, there's no the only the only um the only problem that I have since the update it was the LTE connection. I was having problems with um every time I would um I was on LTE um I couldn't get the data on the internet. Like if I would go on Chrome, it would say um proxy error, there's no internet. And so basically um I had to turn on the airplane mode to get the uh the internet um back to work. And I had a problem. It was really annoying. Um, I have AT&T prepaid, so I call AT&T prepaid, and they told me to um, to um, how do you call to reset the network settings and turn off the phone and turn it on again. I did a couple of times, and I still had the problem going on. And finally, um, I talked to some other um, customer service agent, and they and they helped me to set up a new APN. You go in your settings um, on your mobile network, and uh, where it says mobile data, you could um, you can set up a new APN, and, uh, and you'll be fine. And then after that, I haven't had any problem with the LTE, LTE um, reception, signal, anything. See, right now I'm doing a speed test right now, and right now I'm in, uh, using AT and T. I'm getting about 28, 27 download. And um, and so far, like I said, I haven't had any problems yet anymore. And that's pretty good. Oh, the upload is pretty good. It's pretty good to about 28 upload. Yeah, and I haven't had any problems um since the update. Um, but basically, it's not a big update. It's like um nothing, nothing major. But it's it's better to to get any uh, any update than nothing. So that's about it. This is about it. This is the um, Android 10 update on Huawei phones. EMUI, EMUI 10 on top of Android. That's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.